again because as per usual I just look like shit on every single video that I do but at the end of the day I don't really care because this is what I look like in real life guys okay you do not understand I'm not going to be spending money on expensive makeup just to wear in a video welcome back to my channel as you probably guessed from today's video title i have got some things to talk to you guys about and i'm actually really excited because i just want to see what you guys think but i've also got my christmas party today and basically i like to practice like what i'm going to be doing on my eyeballs because i'm shit at um eyeshadows i'm not very good at blending so i need to know the overall look that i'm doing before i fully commit before i get into all of the conspiracies that i've been looking into that i've been watching on youtube that have like blown my fucking mind like before we get into the conspiracies i have got the creases the these pictures I basically got from my mum this morning. So you know like the whole, got a proper like flick in the hair today. You know these people are doing like the 10, no the decade challenge, what you look like at the start, what you look like at the end. Um, I'm not ending it looking like this guys, that's all I'm fucking saying, okay? I was like, oh mum, have you got like a picture of me at the start of the decade? And she was like, oh, like how old were you then? Uh, and I'm just like, J just send me some pictures and we'll see what we can work with, okay? So I'm gonna just get, I'm gonna put them on screen for you guys, but honestly, I don't know why, but you know when you look at yourself when you were younger and you just think, what the fuck was I doing? Like, poor like seven year old, nine year old me. This first picture, what the fuck is going on with my fucking teeth? I must have talked like this a lot because I've got like, I could fit three fucking two pound coins through each and every single one of my teeth. Obviously I'm not taking the piss out of these whoever who have a lisp, but I'm just saying I might have done. This one! I'm proper sassy in this one, like, yeah, so fucking what? Like, leave me to live my life and be the queen i am it's just like what the fuck is going on with that string of hair do you know what i used to do the reason it looks so like tight is because basically i used to like wet this one bit of hair i used to get it out okay i used to get it out like this scrape the rest of it back with my woolworths fucking colorful headbands like this and I used to wet it and I used to twizzle it like this and like stick it perfectly so it would stay like that. This one. This one I've never related to myself, my younger self more than anything. I've got bags under my eyes. I look pissed off. I look like I've not slept in five years, which is probably half of my life in this picture. This next one I'm just gonna put in here because I think I look cute and I look tanned. And that is what year seven Sophie looked like. So I was about 10, 11 here. My year 11 photo. I don't know what happened in year 11, but I just went downhill. What is my eyes about? They're just like... Obviously today I am going to be talking about some conspiracy theories. Now I don't know which one of these palettes I'm going to use, but like they're these ones. And they're actually really fucking good and really pigmented. Like this one, oh, look at them colours. Fuck! And these ones are a bit more out there. I am a whore for Shane Dawson, okay? I love him. I've loved him before he started doing the um, Jeffrey shit. I loved him before he done the Jake Paul shit. I just loved him because of his conspiracy theories. I have literally gone back to the old days when Shane Dawson um, basically done all his conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And literally, I just miss that. I, anyone who watches Shane Dawson will know what I mean. Like, I miss his old stuff so fucking much and obviously he's got loads of shit going on at the minute and with all his palettes and stuff but like i just love i just miss him doing his old stuff i watched a lot of his conspiracy fit videos um a few days ago i don't know what's real anymore i don't know what's fake anymore is this real 
And I, like, I could be, I could be a simulation right now. And you wouldn't know. Simulations and also how NASA may have, like, faked everything and tried to be really sneaky. Um, disclaimer, don't fucking sue me, guys, whoever I'm talking about. I am just going on, you know, public stuff. I am just going on opinions. This is not fact. Okay, I learned that from Shane Dawson. It's not fact. Okay, don't see me. One of these things that Shane said the other day, and I'll put all the links down below to his videos, was basically that we are, wait for this, in a simulation. He has basically said that people across the world think that possibly our lives are not real and just just stick with me here guys just stick with me because i started watching this and i was like really really by the end of it i was like hello one of the theories was that um we're in this simulation purely because we have kind of travelled back. Okay, so what it basically was, it was based around the fact that people thousands of years in the future wanted to make like this programme about how life was back in the day, like in our days now. Which when we think back in the day, we think of like the early 90s, the early 80s and so on and so on. Shane said in this like really does kind of make sense it's really scary one of the theories is that basically these people from the future want to know what life was like now and how our technology kind of evolved so what they done was create a simulation show us on tv of how we've lived our lives from the 2000s up and how much technology has grown so quickly. When I'm watching this series, I'm sitting there thinking like, simulation, okay, like, I get it, like, I kind of understand it. And then they start talking about things like The Sims. And they were like saying, he shoot some interviews about The Sims and basically how these things that have been created um, actually could start to like, evolve kind of like feelings and then I was sitting there like what the fuck this is not true like what the hell but then they said like obviously the sim characters would never know that they were being played like because that's their life they would think it's all normal so that's when it fucked me up that's when it fucked me up because I was like shit if you're in a fucking simulation, you're not actually going to know. You're in a simulation. Then got to this next fucking strange ass. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I basically sat there and I was just like, right, okay. So you're telling me over these thousands of years that humans have been alive and, you know, nothing's happened with technology. As soon as we hit the year 2000, right, the year 2000 we hit it we start to evolve all our technology now when i was younger i was born in 1998 um we had tvs we had all that shit but basically we had things like flip phones when i was like very young um and i used to go around with my lg cookie and shit like this and like then all of a sudden we had touchscreen phones then all of a sudden we had face scanners and we had this and that and that all happened in the space of 21 years. Do you get what I mean? Like, why all of a sudden in 21 years can we create all this amazing stuff? But in the 90s, we literally couldn't. I'm gonna clean that up, but it actually looks okay in real life. In my head, like, oh my God. I literally sat there and was like, oh my God. Say if you're a hundred years old, okay, so you're a hundred years old, you die in the year 2020 at a hundred, okay? 20% of your life, so then 20 years, then that 20% of your life has been covered by technology. The rest of your life, the rest of that percentage, which is
80 percent oh my god oh my god <laughs> i'm so bad at maths so like the 80 percent of your life you've never experienced or been able to be in touch with technology it just sounds a bit suspicious to me yeah i'm not i'm not feeling this look it's kind of it's kind of ruined itself in all honesty can we fix it no my next one i want to talk about which is a very famous conspiracy is about flat earth and like the landing on the moon i start to question whether the world was actually flat and you will understand what i mean i can't talk and do my makeup at the same time so i'm going to do it and then i'm going to speak people um think that the world is flat and everything like that and if you want to go see about that then i will put the link down below for shane dawson's flat earth thing really interesting and it's really confusing but i'm going to let him talk about it because he his brother was the one who came up with all the kind of theories behind it but within the flat earth kind of thing we talked about nasa so basically all the pictures we get about like the outside of the world everything like that it is basically all from nasa every bit of information we have is from nasa like you're not just going to get like a school trip and be like, oh, we're going to the moon, like guys, get your cameras ready. All the pictures we get are from NASA. They control what we can see and what, what we don't see, basically. So everyone has always said the moon landing is a hoax. And I really do believe it now. I believe that the moon landing is 100% a hoax just purely because of the information that I have seen. In a video which I will play for less than six seconds because I do not want copyright strike on my channel. Why are there no stars in the night sky? Why is the American flag waving here when there is no air to cause any... What that clip is basically explaining is in the video of the moon landing, the flag is moving. It's fucking moving. There is no gravity and there is no wind in space. You can't even like scream in space, no one will hear you because sound doesn't travel. So how the fuck are you telling me there's wind on the moon? And don't sue me, don't come arrest me, don't come kill me, NASA. I don't understand how they thought people wouldn't catch on to that because they're the ones that told us there's no gravity, there's no air, there's nothing up there. And now you're fucking putting in wind. When you look on the pictures, you will see the crosses. I can't remember what they're called. But like, you know when you take a picture sometimes and they'll have the crosses to like measure up along. Look at this picture. Tell me what the fuck is going on there. It lit, the object is overlapping the, pit, the cross. It can't do that because the picture is being taken over the object. They might have photoshopped it wrong. They didn't have the technology we do back then, or did they? There was an interview, and NASA admitted they lost the footage and also the equipment from the first moon landing. So you're telling me we have got dinosaur bones fucking ancient fucking artifacts and shit people's skeletons from when the Pompeii fucking thing exploded and we've been able to we've been able to preserve them we've been able to save them but you've literally got a videotape which you can put anywhere in a nice filing cabinet nice and safe you fucking lost it how the fuck can you lose the first ever recording of the moon landing so this is where i started to think what if they did actually go to the moon and everyone was proper excited about all this hype about people coming back and telling them about what they've seen and then they're like shit nancy i fucking i've lost the tape like bob's lost the tape do you know what i mean bob really i started to think was wait a minute they've just reenacted what they might have already known so obviously 
putting the wind in there, guys. It was a bad move. I mean, you should have really known if you did go to the moon that there's no wind. Or is there? <gasps> Conspiracy. Bob lost the tape and, like, told Nancy, like, oh, my God, Nancy, I've lost the tape. Like, we've got to put it on the news. What are we going to do? She's like, Bob, calm down. Calm the fuck down. I know some people that can do some acting. And then they're like, fuck, let's do this. Who the fuck's going to know anyway? No one's smart enough to know. We're NASA. They must believe us that this has happened. And then they've just recreated the tape and thought they'd get away with it. But obviously, there's a lot of different things, like the strings that you see in there being pulled by, like, pulling the astronauts up and stuff. And it's just like... The one last thing that I saw on Shane Dawson and his brother say, now his brother, I really, has he got a YouTube channel? I'm not too sure, I'm gonna have to look at that. He, this is about the flat earth. We actually don't know, like us normal humans who have never been to space, cause you know, it's a luxury. Um, we don't actually know what the earth is like, if it is actually round. Cause when you think about it, when we get taken a picture of it, it is just round, yes, but it's flat because it's a picture we can't have a 3d picture do you know what i mean like we physically can't like see like we could make a 3d picture of it like people have like the globes and shit but when you take a picture it looks flat any picture you take will look flat now especially in space you're not going to get the shadows behind it because it's pitch fucking black out there so there's no really telling if it's round or if it's just flat and this is what made me think this because NASA has never actually taken a picture of the full planet. Like, literally, they've never taken a picture of the full planet. What they have to do, because the planet is so big, their technology wouldn't take a full composite of this. So they literally have to send this camera round and round and round the Earth millions of times to get a full picture of what it looks like. Google Earth, if you look, some of the pictures of the clouds actually look exactly the same. And that is because when the camera's going round, by the time they've got back round, the clouds moved and they'll just take the picture of the cloud again. So guys, this is how not to do your makeup because I can't do shit. Like that is awful. I really don't know what happened there. That one is actually pretty cute. So I think I'm actually gonna do that tonight. Oh, I'm actually proud of myself. Let's take that off because that literally looks like I've been punched in the eye. Anyone who doesn't watch Shane Dawson and loves conspiracies, go watch. He's got loads on there. Some of them are really scary and I can't sleep at night, but I absolutely love him. I'm going to li link down below the videos um, that I'm referencing to. Like and subscribe to my channel. I love doing these little random chit chats with you because I'm weird like that. Um, yep, yeah, love you all, thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.